Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In yesterday's video we continued working on the Legacy DLC, wrapped up a few side quests, and made our way to the bottom of the prison I think. I think. And today we're gonna try and go in there. <laughs> so let's get started. So I did go back and loot everything that I had killed at the end of the last video finally. And here was where it yeah, here's where we have the entrance. Have some the all-important rubble. But before we go in, let's see if we have anything new to say. Why is everybody whispering? <laughs> I don't know. Why is everybody whispering? Well, that thing led us to a seal. There's some truth to this. This place is giving me a headache. I mean, yeah, I guess. Hmm. All the griffins of the wardens, right? And another seal. See, where's Larry? Shouldn't Larry be on this side of the seal too? I'm just saying. He should be in here waiting for us. Am I missing him? I'm not missing him. Okay, let's save. And... Oh, cool. You can see the demon that's kind of stuck in there. Alright, let's mark a death. This guardian... And as he spews out green crap. And I miss him again. Alright, here's the one we need to attack. Uh, which is the one that I need to attack? This one? This one maybe? Or are they all the same? They're all the same. Um, well, I'll attack the one that Evelyn's attacking. I don't know which one to pick. They're all, oh, dang. Well, it's not, obviously it's not that one. Oh, no, nope, not that one either. Like, the minute I'm like, oh, it's this one. No, it's not this one. <laughs> Well, this one seems to be it. There we go. Ugh. Silly guardians and your disappearingness. Go down. How's everybody doing? Fine. It's like we'll just go around in a circle. Looks like Rigel found him. Got him. Okay. Third seal is defeated. Or the guardian of the third seal is defeated. So let's see. I have crit, stun, speed, and critical damage or critical chance. What is my... Um, resistances, no, I need my, no, attributes. Um, my crit damage is already kind of ri ridiculous, so let's, uh, do my crit chance. Family legacy. Great. The third seal is broken and its power taken into the key. Find and break the final seal to get to the heart of the prison. I don't want to do this. <laughs> it's like, I want to just go home. I don't want to do this. This is just... <sighs> okay, let's look at all these cubbies. Okay, that's the one we came in. Anything over here? No. How about this? And where is Larry again? <laughs> I feel like Larry should be here with us. All right, well, let's save after all that. And... He feels the seals weaken. He knows you are close. You must be ready. Okay. What's that? Who? No! No! They're here! 
Uh, who's here? Who is they? The Carter? No, worse. More treacherous, more dangerous. The Wardens! They listen to Corypheus. They want to bring him the light. Stop them. You must stop them. What? More Wardens? Something's happening. The prison's breaking down. But it stood up to tunneling before. What can... <gasps> you! You have the key! And you've come through the seals. But how? Champion? Are you the one? The same hawk, child of Malcolm? The Carter said they were close. You must be her. I am Janica. I lead this unit of Grey Wardens. Why are the Wardens so interested in my father? Then you don't know. Without Malcolm, this prison would have fallen 30 years ago. <laughs> all right, I'll bite. <laughs> how, first of all, how do you know who I am? Um, second of all, how are you guys down here and doing fine? Why are you down here? I have, I have so many questions. So what happened? Tell me what my father did. The Grey Wardens built this prison to contain one of the most powerful Darkspawn we've ever encountered. Okay, I got that. But even the best magic fades. The Wardens need to reinforce the seals. This requires the blood of a mage untainted by Warden training. Oh. The last to perform the ritual was your father. I get it. So they can't be a Warden because the Warden has the taint, so they literally mean untainted by the taints. <laughs> um, so blood magic is forbidden? I... okay. My father was a blood mage. To avert the blights. Forbidden magics are sometimes necessary. That's an argument we have to guard against. My father knew that. He did not bind the demons, if that is your concern. That was done in another era, before the Chantry's laws. Hmm. So he didn't bind the demons here, he just made it so they couldn't leave and... Well, it doesn't explain a lot. Well, it kind of explains a lot, but... I guess we'll just go with that one. That's why the Carter came after me. We need your help, Hawk. I have done extensive research on this Darkspawn, and I believe the original Wardens were wrong. He isn't a threat to humanity. He's our greatest opportunity. A Darkspawn who can talk, feel, reason. Corypheus cares nothing for blights. He used you. The Warden Commander? Don't listen to this creature. He's half Darkspawn himself. I know how to harness Corypheus. Use his magic to end the blights. Um... No! The Wardens knew. Corypheus is too powerful. Father would have considered this, done the research. Trust that he was right. Worth the risk. If he doesn't help, it's one more big dark spawn to stick a bolt in. No big deal. If the Wardens locked this creature up, they did it for a reason. Yeah. Corypheus calls her, and she listens. She brought him the Carter, sent them for you. You must help us. Well, uh, okay, first of all, uh, why, why would... <laughs> the questions I want to ask aren't here. <laughs> so why would Corypheo suddenly help us? Why would this Darkspawn want to end the Blights? Mm -hmm. He's no mindless monster. This search for the old gods comes at a terrible cost to his people. He tricked you. These are not your thoughts. They are his calling. How many of them died in Ferelden alone? And that was the least of the blights. Can you trust... I, well, yeah, let's trust the evil dude that was literally locked up because he was too powerful. <laughs> okay. How could you trust any deal this Darkspawn makes with you? Do not think me foolish, Hawk. I am making no deal. I have a spell which can control Corypheus. Bind him to my will. Uh -oh. He will be a new, important weapon in the war on the Blights. No more, no less. Uh, uh, bind him to your will. Are you talking about using blood magic? Everything that was done to him was through the power of blood. The Wardens imprisoned Corypheus before the Chantry banned such magic. It is the only way to hold him. They never bound him. Only the walls. He cannot be held. Well, I have to pick, it seems, between Laird, 
siding with Crazy Larry or siding with Janica, who apparently hired the dwarves to come after my sister and me. And I'm kind of not okay with that. And you actually think you have the power to bind this, like, not old god, old god to you, so who was so powerful, the wardens had to do this crazy multiple seal blood magic ritual. I just, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not going to pick her because I think she's crazy. Like the other dude is totally crazy, but he's like a sane crazy. So I don't say crazy. I don't feel like that's right either, but I, I just can't. I think Yannicka is a little too confident in her skills. Um, and we're just going to kill him because <laughs> that's probably what should have happened to begin with. What is wrong with you? Ugh, wardens, I swear. Some of these wardens. Where is Edward when you need him? Edward would have been like, no, we're killing the evil darkspawn. Although Edward did side with the architect. So there is that. But I'm going to learn from that. And we're going to go with uh, Larry's right. Corypheus may be as great a threat as the next blight. We can't risk freeing him. We'll find a way to do this with or without you, Hawk. This prison will be broken. The blight will end. Come. With me! We will beat them to the seal! I, I just don't see how you're gonna... I don't think this guy's gonna help you. Like, Warden's locked him up for who knows how long, and you think he's just gonna suddenly help you? I know you're gonna bind him to you, but, like, I just... I just... I don't... I don't buy it. And my father helped lock him up even more. So why would I do what my father didn't want us to do? Anyway, I'm babbling. So Malcolm Hawks reply, Warden Commander Larry, <laughs> I have been considering your offer and I accept your terms. In addition to what was discussed, I find a payment of 25 sovereigns per seal to be sufficient. All I require from you is your promise that my wife will be kept safe while I am gone and that Lord Aristide Amel will be convinced to let Leander leave Kirkwall with me when I return. Oh, I wish my bride and I to be free, and I do not intend to have her father's men hunting us down. Before we depart, I would also like to confirm your statement that the ritual does not require contact with demonic influences. I would also like to discuss this dark spawn of magical talents in greater detail. It quite defies belief that the Grey Wardens have kept a secret of this magnitude buried so close to Kirkwall. I await your reply. Yeah, I just don't see my father wanting us to just, oh, sure, we'll undo all the stuff you did and just let him free. I feel like dear old dad would not like that. Follow Larry to the top of the tower to kill Corypheus before Yannicka can free him. Okay, well, let's try and do that today. It's the only thing that makes sense. We have to stop them. Okay. So we're taking the crazy ghoul at his word. Sounds like fun. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Whatever we're doing, <laughs> let's get it over with. Okay, Abilene, let's just go home. Such a fool. She hears his voice and thinks it's her own. Oh, so is Corypheus talking to her and telling her, if you let me free, I'll help you out? Such a fool. That kind of makes sense. She hears sense. his voice and thinks it's her own. Because didn't the dwarves say they were hearing his voice? Power Nexus. This, this was part of the prison's defenses. From centuries ago, old wards, unstable, dangerous. The wardens had them neutralized. Bringing them back to life will stall Janica. All right, it's okay. Well, we'll click on it. Oh, is that what all the glowing things are? The prison's old defenses have been activated with Larry's help. Continue on and try to beat Yannicka to Corypheus. Well... I'm not going to rush, but it'd be nice to finish today. But if we don't, it's fine. It's okay. It's always tomorrow. Well, before we go in there, let's look over here and see what's going on. Look, though, here's all the car to helping her out. I don't trust her. Mm -mm. We have to make sure she doesn't release Corypheus. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's... yeah. It's the only thing that makes sense. We have to stop them. Huh. Do not touch anything. The old defenses are active again. Very unpredictable, very dangerous. There! 
That's the one Janica wants dead. <laughs> Janica sent you, obviously, Aaron, but let's ask it anyway. You do Janica's bidding. Janica shared knowledge of Corypheus with the Carta. When she releases the Master, we will be rewarded. <laughs> you people again? Um, well, yeah, we don't have to fight. You guys can just leave. Well, actually, I don't think they can leave, but let's let's try to talk them down, maybe. Turn back, and I will spare you. There's no turning back. Of course not. We may die here, but we will take you with us. <sighs> no! Don't! Oh. Oh, no. To arms, and pray that Corypheus honors our sacrifice. Oh, no. What did those things do? Okay, uh, let's try to use a big bomb. <sighs> All right, and let's work on these... Apprentices, maybe? Trapped. Carter fools always where they don't belong. This shouldn't have happened. Maybe they misinterpreted you? Um, what? Okay, well, let's stay calm. I don't know what the middle one means. Don't worry, we'll find a way out. Yes. Yes. Think. There must be a way. I was here once before. A long time ago. Yeah. The magic... The magic... flows in streams. They must be joined for the way to open. Yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> okay, a puzzle. Hurrah! The magic streams must be joined to open, so I have to connect it into one big beam, maybe? Well... I'm gonna fiddle with this for a while, no doubt, and I'll bring you back in once I am close to finishing. All right, let me try over this one. And yeah. Quickly now, we have a ways to go yet. Okay, that was that wasn't too terribly complicated. Once I figured out how to kind of get them to go where I wanted them to go, so. The hawk was fascinated by the old construction, always stopping to examine the carvings. A learned man. Oh, it's, I like that we get to hear a bit of a backstory behind our father, because we didn't really get much at all. And, I mean, like, I haven't finished the main game yet, but, you know, we you knew he was your father, and that he ran away with your mother, and that he was a mage, and he trained Bethany, but, like, he did all this so that he could run away with your mother and not be chased after by your grandfather, basically. So that's, that's interesting. I like it. I like, I love, I love world building backstories kind of stuff. So, okay. Um, looks like we need to go left. So let's go right. The dead end, did we come? How do we get back in there? I want to go back in there. I guess we have to go up and around, maybe? Oh, look, more Carta. Um, yeah, watch out, Bethany. They're stealth guys. Let's try a small bomb. Let's finish this. Come on. Where was the... Is there an assassin? Let's get on the master sniper. Okay, um, yeah, there seems there's the assassin. Let's kill him. And then there's Larry. I'll deal with it. Assassin, pile of bones, and then, yeah, there's this pathway back here. So let's. So it looks like. Okay, this is just the door to, okay, sorry. <laughs> Getting a little, not turned around, but... Power of the Nexus. We have to turn all these on to slow her down some, right? 
So Helm of Weishaupt. The Labyrinth has claimed Warden Commander Astor. Ulrich tampered with one of the magical seals in this place and unwittingly released a demon upon us. Commander Astor ordered us to run. He would hold the creature back until we activated the prison's defenses, trapping them both. The barriers came up and they will stay up. This was Commander Astor's last instructions and we will follow it to the letter. We are unable to retrieve the Warden Commander's prized helm and other trappings of his office. They will not be returned to Weishaupt and will remain with the commander wherever he may be from a torn gray warden report the writing bat barely legible hmm. okay locks within locks the warden set a trap for Corypheus and bound him in a prison of their own making. Beneath the free marches, they carved out a series of caverns, a veritable mage, maze, and enchanted them, wards within wards, locks within locks, spells woven with the help of a powerful artifact they call the key. All this to hold Corypheus. Why didn't you just kill him? I mean, I guess I wonder if they had to trap him because they couldn't kill him. There, There is that argument too, I suppose. It seems that even that wasn't enough for Warden Commander Rhiannon writes in her private journals. Corypheus is too powerful. Nothing will hold him forever. The seals are already weakening. We must find a way to fortify them soon. From Janica's research notes. I mean, lady, you find out all this stuff that doesn't bode well and you want to just free him? Honestly, it sounds like this guy's whispering in her head and maybe getting her to do things that she shouldn't. Let's go back and explore these rooms, because, you know, why not? Pile of bones. Where is this light coming from? Are we that close to the surface now? And that should do it. Nothing of importance, of course. Weeks down here, working together. He never liked me. Too much bad blood. Who's he? A change of course. I was wrong. We cannot control the creature Corypheus. Even our most powerful mages hold no influence with him. In truth, it is they who have been most vulnerable. See? And Yannicka looked like she was a mage with her clothes and stuff, because they look different from oh, the worst. And also she like threw fireballs at us, obviously, duh. A dozen times those assigned to guard or study the creature have sought the key to free him. When they are removed to a safe distance, they remember little. They speak of a voice in their minds, a calling like that of the old gods, but it wanes outside of Corypheus's presence. Darkspawn have attacked us as well, seeking him. I can only assume they are summoned the same way. Somehow his magic lets him speak through the blade itself, affecting any who bear its taint. The same power stays the hand of any warden who approaches to kill him. I must recommend that we seal this prison over and conceal its very existence. Corypheus must not be allowed to go free. From the warden commander Danikin to the first warden in wiped how 1014 TE. And even back then they knew that this was a bad idea. <laughs> too powerful to kill, but too dangerous to let free, obviously. Well, there's a red one. That doesn't, that seems dangerous. I mean, rock in a hard place, man. Like this is scary stuff. I don't, I really, and I, I probably, I'm guessing I have to fight this dude. That's like my big boss battle at the end. Okay. Well, I'm not sure which way to go. So let's go this way. I think this might be a dead end. It looks like it. So long since I've been this deep, but. I remember. I remember every step taken with the other hawk. Okay. The other hawk? Do you mean Malcolm? You were here with father. The seals are weakening, they said. Malcolm Hawk was chosen. A good man, but an apostate. Yes, I was here with him. Hmm. I wonder, can I click off the red that I clicked on back over here and get into this room then okay well I did run back to the red 
blocked off area and it was still blocked off. And I was wandering back around to see if there was anything else that I should click on. And look, there is all these beams now that I need to fiddle with. So I'm going to sit here for a while, twist and turn columns around, uh, see if I can kind of figure out what I need to do. Maybe worst case, I'll look it up on the internet, but uh, I'm going to spare you all of that. <laughs> but I will bring you back in when I'm almost done or when I have completed. So I will see you momentarily. All right, well, I'm not really sure what I did, but I made all the beams go white <laughs> and that seemed to unlock this red room, which was great. Um, so there better be something really nice in here to get. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So let's loot a stale biscuit and a warden scout cap. All right. Such a fool. That's she hears his okay. Voice and thinks it's her own. All right. <laughs> that was an interesting puzzle. I had to click on all of the like lanterns and then make all the beams in the other room go white, which I, I only took like three or four tries, like three or four of me moving the columns around and but just by dumb luck, really. But yeah, that's done. <laughs> um, and we're going to go in here. I'm going to save, but we'll see uh, if I how, how much farther I need to get through. Well, actually, you know what? I know it's a little, a little short today, but this is where I'm going to end things. I've only got literally like two minutes left and I don't want to go any farther. And then it's 10 minutes later and we're still not done. So we will pick up here tomorrow. We will go into the next room. I don't think this is where Corypheus is, but we'll see what happens. And yeah, <laughs> now that I've babbled for a minute. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age 2 video.